Hi, this is Katie Umaña with Texan Army TV. We're here with Craig Weibel um, talking about the Bald is Beautiful event. Uh, Craig, can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved with this? Well, it goes uh, back three or four years to the involvement with um, the hospital and the Children's Cancer Center and a couple visits that I had. And I've just, over the years, um, I guess fortunately and unfortunately, become pretty good friends with five or six kids and their families. And um, due to tragedy and, and thankfully nothing too severe, uh, but they're all dealing with things that, that are, uh, I can't even fathom. And so the idea of helping raise some money to help aid those families in any way, shape, or form was all, just came up, and I thought it's a great, great way to do it. And being bald, or mostly bald, uh, I thought, you know, this was, uh, this was a pretty cool event for me to be in. Okay. And um, what exactly is happening on the on May 30th, May 30th game during uh, against yeah. Toronto? Well, what, what we're doing, is, I mean, there's a ton going on, but uh, that day we're going to have a tent here at the stadium. And what we're asking for is it's basically a fundraiser with a fundraiser. We're asking people, everyone with hair, not so much you, because we don't want you to shave your head. But okay. most, you know, a lot of guys with hair have 10 to 20 friends that would pay 10 bucks to see them bald for sure. Because unlike my life where I went bald at 21, most people would think it's funny to see their friends bald. So uh, we're asking people to go raise $100 and, uh, and come and just kind of as a sign of, you know, uh, I guess a show of, of gracious uh, giving to the families and to the kids and solidarity. We're asking them to come, donate 100 bucks, and we're going to give a game ticket. We've got a new Weibels Warriors t-shirt out this year, and uh, they're going to get a ticket, uh, the t-shirt, and uh, the money is a, it's a write-off or 501c3, so it's everything that you collect goes straight off your taxes anyway, so it's basically a win-win situation for everyone. It's a lose for the hair, a win for everyone else. That's really great news. Um, are there any other Dynamo players involved with this? Yeah, Mike Chabala is going to lose that bushel of hair. We, we set a number on it, and we're pretty close to raising the money that, uh, that we needed to. Uh, I think he committed far before he realized how much money we, we, could, we could raise with an event like this. Uh, but he put a pretty pricey, pricey tag on his head, and I think we're going to get close. And that could happen even midweek, actually. Because at the event, um, it is a game day, and the most important thing for us is the game. So I'll be out there for, uh, for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes from 5 o'clock to about 5.20, 5.30. But, uh, you know, just to come out there and make sure everybody knows it's, it's really my event and Mike's event and Stewart's event. Uh, Stewart's keeping his hair. He would not put a number on it, so T.A., put some pressure on that kid. Uh, but, yeah, I'll be out there for a little while and, and uh, shaving heads. Okay. Is there, um, for people that want to be involved, that want to contribute, yeah. um, what exactly do they need to do? Is there a site that they can go to? They, or? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, Nick's team. Nick's team is the site online, and there's a link on there to the Bald is Beautiful event. And Nick's team is the name of the organization that uh, the 501c3. And it's not just shaving heads, you know. I mean, any money's good money. If you have one dollar, we'd love to have one dollar. I mean, if that's a donation, we're gonna have the T-shirts there for sale for 20 bucks. Uh, you know, anything's great. And and like I said, you know, we're asking people for a hundred dollars because. That's just something where if you're willing to shave your head, I guarantee you got 10 friends that are willing to give you 10 bucks for it. So, you know, but yeah, they can go to Nick's team online and check it out. Okay. We know a few people that are going to actually be volunteering oh, for this through Texan awesome. Army and just other fans. Yeah. So thank you so much for doing this, and I hope you all raise the amount that you want. Well, I mean, any, any amount's a good amount, and uh, this is just one more way for myself and my teammates to give back to Houston, which has given us everything. So. We appreciate everything you guys do, trust me. All right, thank you so much you for your bet. time. Hi, we're here with Mike Chabala of the Houston Dynamo. Mike, um, you're going to be involved with the Bald is Beautiful event. Uh, yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, well, I mean, we first got involved with uh, Texas Children's Hospital, um, some of the kids there with, uh, with uh, some leukemia cases, just different kids that are going through some treatments. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of the guys go and check it out, hang out. And, you know, some of us became quite fond of some of the kids there. Um, I've got some personal experience. Um, my uncle had leukemia and one of my cousins. And uh, so I kind of have a personal place in my heart for, you know, you know kids that are going through that. So um, anyways, yeah, we just were talking. Um, and there's an organization called Nick's Team that Craig and Stuart and myself are really heavily involved in, also Brad Davis. And uh, we were just thinking of different ways to fundraise and raise money um, for the cancer center there. And so 
we uh, came up with, well, Craig came up with the idea, Bald is Beautiful, and uh, obviously Craig is bald and does not really a choice, but, you know, I was one with the hair that might be able to, you know, raise some more money for uh, for the cause. So, you know, come this Thursday, actually, I'm going to shave my head on Fox 26 in the morning. Craig is going to do the honor, and, uh, yeah, it'll be a good event. Okay. How much are you planning to raise for this? Uh, we are shooting for 25000 so, you know, we just set a bar, and, uh, you know, we're trying to get Stuart to get in there, but... You know, get some other guys to do it as well, though. But it's going to turn out well. I mean, they're going to do it the day of the game, too, though. And a lot of people are really excited about the event. So it'll be fun. You have a lot of lady fans, um, young teenage girls that follow you. Uh, how do you think they'll react about you shaving your head? <laughs> well, I hope they'll still love me afterwards, you know. But it's a good it's a good cause, and I'm actually getting a little cold feet, to be honest with you. I mean, I've shaved my head before in the past, about a year and a half ago. Um, but it's kind of a win-win, you know, because it gets pretty hot here. So, you know, I can't really complain because it'll be easier. But, um, and there's always Stuart Holden. And uh, anyways, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. Hopefully they'll still love me as much as they did before. Okay, and uh, what would you say to anybody that might be interested in, in contributing? Yeah, just come out Saturday. Um, that's Stuart Holden. There you go. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're if you're coming to the game Saturday, come out before. Um, there'll be a tent set up. Um, people can just donate whatever they want, and you know, even get some people to shave their heads as well. Though, so it'll be a good event. And uh, and yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem.